So in today's video, we're gonna look at the performance of the GTX 970 in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. More specifically, we're gonna be focusing on the game mode Blackout, which is the all new Battle Royale mode for the Call of Duty franchise. Now guys, I'm super psyched to uh, actually find out if this card is still a good budget card in 2018. Let's find out. Hey, how is it going guys? Glad you made it here. So I decided to run this benchmark on my gaming rig with the AMD Ryzen R7 1700 without overclocking on this one. Right now I'm running the memories in its native 3000 MHz. That is basically the only thing that I've done here. I've also downloaded the latest Nvidia driver as of yesterday and the latest driver for the GTX 970 is 416.34 as of posting this video. This driver is also the one that Nvidia released upon this game release and should be optimized for Black Ops 4 as well. Right, so this is the GTX 970 Gaming 4G from MSI and this is their Twin Frozer 5 cooler. Stock clocks on this card is 1140 MHz on the core but it goes all the way up to uh, 1279 in boost or in OC mode and uh, yeah that 3.5 gigahertz memory technically it's 4 gigabytes but you guys know what I mean here right is clocked to 7000 megahertz however due to GPU boost 2.0 which is an auto overclocking feature it boosted my card up to 1341 megahertz now GPU boost 2.0 looks at things like power draw temperature voltage etc and they are all taking into account when the card boosts now it should be said I was able to clock the card down but since I've already collected all the numbers before I noticed this guys i decided not to rerun the tests most of you guys should be able to reach 1341 megahertz on your core regardless and there will be an updated test without overclocking coming out as soon as well so don't worry guys now what can we say about the benchmark results you can actually max out this game with the gtx 970 if you decide not to touch the anti-aliasing or the scaling so to speak i was able to almost reach 60 uh, frames per second on average in ultra quality which is kind of nuts uh, if you think about it now few important things i need to address right away i decided to run every test without as i said anti-aliasing activated this is due to the fact that this is putting some huge stress on the gpu so i figured it wouldn't be such a smart idea to run and torture the good old 970 more than needed so i decided to leave that off also render resolution has been left to 100% meaning that the game will be running in the native 1080p res all the time so no downscaling or upscaling here and yeah with that said there was no problem running the game in low quality keep in mind every test here is made in 1080p why run it in 1080p well I am assuming that most of you guys are gonna run the game in that resolution as well it is 2018 after all right now something that I've noticed now the most graphically intense moments seem to be the part of the game where you start in the helicopter in the air even at low quality i will see number go as low as 50 frames per second for a few seconds but as soon as i jumped out out of the helicopter the fps started to climb drastically to at least 80 plus fps with an average over the 100 mark and it should be said i never had any hiccups any stutter in this resolution at all now time to scale up everything to medium and this is what it looks like again i was seeing the lowest fps during the drop scene and uh, as we went through the clouds i was seeing numbers as low as 40 fps but as soon as we landed on the ground we were averaging around 80 plus so it's definitely playable in the medium 
Radeon preset. Now when moving up to high I decided to enable special effect shadows and screen sparrow reflection which basically lets you see certain in-game objects reflections in the water when looking at things in certain angles. I've also decided to enable weapon shadow as well. All of these options can either be enabled or disabled. There is nothing in between and therefore I decided to leave them off up until this point. Right now everything is maxed out except for the things like shadow quality and texture quality which has an ultra preset as well. Keep in mind the GTX 970 only has 3.5 gigabytes of fast GDDR5 memory and so when we move up to ultra things might get crispy but 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 we are testing high right now and high is running believe it or not pretty damn good during the most intense moment when i look up the scene i was seeing 38 frames per second but we averaged over the 60 mark 62 frames per second more specifically so definitely happy to run this game in this higher preset now in high the video memory was actually exceeding the 3.5 mark peaking at 3.8 gigabyte vram usage but even then i didn't manage to experience any hiccups or lags or any stutter everything played out very well which i'm very happy to report and even though the game dipped under the 60 fps mark several times i never found the experience to be unplayable in fact as i said i would actually be fine to play at this preset yeah but we gotta try ultra as well right time to uh max out the game we're seeing as low numbers as 33 frames per second now which is uh, uh which is not very nice uh, but we're averaging around 52 frames per second so a few things to take away from this benchmark this game is not very graphically intense to my surprise and maybe if we overclock the card a little bit more you should probably most likely be able to run the game in ultra settings as well without sand aliasing of course and scaling set to 100% to achieve the 60 fps mark now when i was driving around or when i was looking out over mountain peaks this is the moments where the frames drop the most but overall i'm really surprised how well the gtx 970 stood here remember guys this is a five year old graphics card it actually came out in 2013 now i want to know guys would you like to see more similar tests like this in the future and would you like me to try even older graphics cards as well please let me know in the comments i thank you so much for watching this video i'm off to play some blackout now <laughs> believe me or not until next time have an awesome day all right bye